So of course, feed intake becomes a challenge as we get into the, the heat of the summer, and there are a couple different strategies we can employ to make sure we continue to maintain good feed intake as we get into the hot, humid parts of the summer. The first is the timing of feed intake. So we want to make sure that we're coinciding our timing for when those animals are going to eat. The cooler early part of the day, the cooler end of the day. And so we may have to adjust our feeding times to make sure that we're getting those animals up and eating as much as we can. The second piece we can look at is our caloric density. We can make adjustments to the feed program to increase the fat, to increase the protein, to make sure that every bite that that sow takes is a good calorie dense bite that can be converted into milk for those piglets as well. But again, we wanna make sure that we bear in mind what, what our facility is capable of as we make those changes. We wanna make sure that we're not getting bridging in our feed line, in our feed system, or even in our feeder as we increase the amount of, of fat and protein that's in the diet.